Hey guys, once more, Dot Hack Rebirth, and the last episode, we did some stuff. <laughs> but we got new mail, so let's go read our new mail, and then uh, figure out which of the things we'll be doing, because we're supposed to kind of level up. We met uh, a new new guild, the guild leaders and everything, well, not really the new one, but, um, yeah. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Gabby Q&A. Let's see more of Gabby's stuff. Going down. Hello, Gabby. Today, I'd like to ask you why you've been playing, or why did you begin playing the world? For me, it's because a friend told me I should try it. I'm very grateful for him, eagerly waiting your answer. I forgot. <laughs> He's so, so eloquent in uh, his wording. Uh, sleep. Interesting. He's uh, so, so wonderful. Moon tree. Contact only. Sakaki. Uh, this is Akaki Moontree's Unit 2 leader. It looks like the previous thread has disappeared, so I've taken the liberty of creating a new one. Please use it for communication reports, etc. Recently, it seems there have been some players acting thoughtlessly towards others in Lumina Cloth, especially in the arena. Behavior that consists of tormenting or harassing other players is strictly against our guild's policy. If certain members appear to be involved in such incidents, the Seven Council will discuss those members' right to participate in the arena. Currently, Moontree does not prohibit arena battles, however, participating is merely a right given the good behavior of members. Moontree does not officially endorse its members to participate in the arena. Special, or please keep oh, especially keep, please keep this in mind and thank you for not doing anything that may solely our, our guild's name. It's weird that you have a thread on the just the open guild or the open forum for your guild. Like why don't you just keep this inside? Good work, everyone. I'm Atsali, a member of the Unit Tree or Moon Tree's Unit 2. Our last seminar closed its doors amidst a great success. Thanks to all who participated it helped and helped to make it great. I thank you all sincerely. Unit 2 is currently undergoing preparations for the next seminar. Therefore, we would like to gather opinions on how to go about making another great success. If you have any suggestions for the things you would like to discuss or people you'd like to hear from, please whisper to either myself, Kunugi, Kashiwa, or Daidai. Post on a thread. And you seem to be more excited than usual. Did you get a kick out of assembling people? I bet your class president was not in real life. No, it's kind of weird to put that on. You guys really hold do hold or really, you guys really do hold seminars. I'm kind of surprised. So do you have to be a guild member to participate in these seminars? Sure. I don't really want to participate, but you know, I'll, I'll ask. But we have three new emails, so oh, and apparently a bunch of news. These are going to be basically nothing. Maybe some people about uh, Space Station named. Uh, it's named Village. Oh, so creative. <laughs> and I'm sure the regular forum is going to be about the Space Station now. Oh, Jesus. Enter. Seven Council of School. Of course, it's always like as soon as we... Uh, <laughs> meet new people, all of a sudden there's a bunch of art about them. Uh, that seems to be about it. What a cute picture. I joined Moon Tree. Currently going training, hoping to uh, join the Seventh Council. That would be kind of cool. Unit 7 leader, Blue Eye Samurai. Oop, one left. Found a new breed. Hey, I know him. Red's guild as their guild master has been replaced has just been replaced when I came across a rear grunty. He had no hat on whatsoever. The first grunty I've ever seen where that happened. A truly rare sight. <laughs> a chim rice cake. Give it to him the next time you see it. Uh Grunty's just cute. It'd be kinda cool to have like a special item that if you gave him without seeing something like that, or if you knew that you could give certain grunties things, he'd give you something kinda cool. That'd be kinda cool. Oh no, triad sighted. I just heard some interesting, interesting rumors, so here they are. If you target and search the scratch area, altar in Hulgan's Cathedral will become cursed. The first day after you become cursed, the character will gain a triangular on the wound on their body. The second day you'll gain, well, this seems to be just a 100 meter dash. I was hoping it'd actually be something kind of cool, where if we went there, we could actually touch the uh, scratch and who'd appear again or something, we could fight it, but... Internet education, future of methane. <laughs> it's gonna be on the space station, so. Crimson verse. 
real cards. They're going to a new real card system. And now the world. Where can I get Olm Shell? Let's see again. For level 10, B statue, green tie. Look for a wall vest. So we got some new words. Level 18, you can destroy barrels of calm propeller and trap boxes. So we can go to a couple new places now that to grind out some stuff. So the world has a hidden quest. Is this true? Let's hear more details. Sounds like a lie. It's only natural for an animal to like the world to have one or two hidden quests. It would be weird if it didn't. I've heard about one. Bleh. I heard about it on the site that posts info about the Japanese version of the world, something called Abisu Quest. Abuse Quest? No, Abyss. Basically a deep, dark, bottomless pit. Apparently there's an incredible boss monster at the end of it with my Japanese. That's about all I could understand. Do you have any details about this incredible boss? Weren't there any pics? No, nope, just text. Just a uh, dictionary and tried to read about it. I didn't do that well. It had words like lake, spray, and the dead. There's a lake at the bottom of it. Is... It's Ebisu. Have fun finding him, because he won't be there. That'd be cool if there actually was. Let's see, uh, I'm actually gonna go back in there. And see maybe if I try those words, the words similar to that. If I could. It was... Lake Spray and the Dead. I don't think I have... Lake Spray and the Dead. Maybe. We'll go through our word list and see if we can find one, but it might be something to come up later. It's just kind of weird that they would hint that, and then there actually might be a hidden quest. I don't know. I'll look it up. Finally, we can go to our new mail. <laughs> you know, seven minutes in. <laughs> uh, congratulations, Atelier. All right, I was focused, uh, so focused during the battle on your and Silvus's HP and making sure it stayed up. I didn't really feel like I fought. I guess that's what being a Harvest Cleric is all about. I'm afraid I jumped to conclusions when you were summoned to Moon Tree. I'm so sorry. I really thought you had stirred up some kind of trouble, but really, when you think about it, Pai was right there with us. I guess there was nothing to be concerned about. Again, I'm so sorry. So, that's who's going to be our next opponent. Uh, that's who's having to What kind of guy is he? What kind of guy is Lakova? Sure. Uh, no, tournament. Thank you for your regular patronage. Your match up for the second round of the tournament will be posted. Uh, Team Haseo, Leader Haseo, Wicked Party, Matsu. We request that all those participants register the fights at the arena counter. Fight with the captain of Moon Trees Unit 7, huh? Yes, we should go register. Gaspard. Your second round is coming up. I heard your opponent in it is really strong. All my friends are customers saying that there's no way you can win, but I still want you to win. One of the my friends, chat friends, told me there's this area fantastic for leveling up. Piling red plums to win rocks. I know you'll do great. You'll get really strong and level up. We're gonna go probably kick his ass right now. And then we still have Pyros' thing that we have to do, so <laughs> they keep throwing too much on us. I mean, I guess we could slow it down and go back, but I kind of kind of want to hit that arena. But look, the official forum. <laughs> Moon tree contact only, Astley responded really quick. Not at all, Haseo. You finally started becoming interested in Moon tree. I'm so happy. And we ignore. <laughs> Alright, so let's uh let's probably go to the arena. Let's invite uh As long as we're allowed to. You know, they like to block us I'll off. I'll need to register for the second round fight at the arena counter. Gotta get Adelie and Syllabus. <laughs> I just it, it answers my questions for me. I don't that's the only ones I can invite. I can't even do Pyrus's thing. Like, it doesn't even let you slow down. I have Pyrus's thing I'm supposed to go do. Maybe if I walked over there, he'd be there and it'd let me do it, but holy cow. Uh, let's see. Area word. Spray, lake. Uh, setting, choosing, sacred, up front, fly away, heavenly truth, for beard, oh, warm, unseen, cloak, over joy, dark, and piling, restful, sad, and unending, starting, buzzing, elegant, such a scary, just a kid, and wealthy, peaceful, submissive, great, flurry, gallant, lazy. <gasps> nope. Let's go. Although I'm wondering if there's going to be somebody here who's being mean because we had that whole news article about it, or a forum post, but I guess not. There's some members being rude at the arena. <laughs> I mean, it is people just fighting other people. 
tournament. Take part in the tournament. Yes, I will. And turn right around. Now let's go. I don't even know their level. I wonder what their level is going to be. Are you sure about this? I mean, fighting somebody from your own guild, Adelie? Oh, yes. I got Sakaki's approval. After all, arena battles are different from personal ones. Sakaki, Sakaki, Sakaki. Man, you really listen to everything he says, don't you? Of course I do. Sakaki is a great man. Huh. What's so great about a guy who's trying to ruin his own guildmaster? Sakaki's not! He isn't like that! Where there's smoke, there's fire, you know. Huh? You huh? just eat up whatever Sakaki tells you, don't you? In the end, you're always just spouting off someone else's opinions. Hey, maybe you should watch your back out there. Knowing Sakaki, he just might have ordered Adelie to hold back on purpose. All right, Haseo, quit it. That's going too far. Oh, uh, well, it doesn't matter even if you do hold back in this fight, seeing how I'm going to win regardless. I'm surprised Sakaki can't even see. Please hit him. Yes. Care what you say about me, Haseo. But please, stop saying bad things about Sakaki. You. Haseo, good luck. Let's have a great match. I don't, I don't, I just, I just don't understand. I, I don't so understand. Deep. Why did the they make him such a dick? Everyone is waiting dick? for a second round of the Demon Palace Tournament. <laughs> Today's commentary will be from Moontree's Guildmaster. Hey. Hi, everybody. I'm Zelkova. I hope that you'll enjoy the match along with me today. All right, this match is shaped up to be between Moontree and Canard. All right, so Natsu, level 33, 32. What are you looking forward to seeing, We're still Mr. a whole, like, Zelkova? six levels over him, I think. <laughs> well, I'd love to see the come-from-behind technique Haseo showed his last match. 38. Are you sure about yeah. that? If he comes from behind, then that means Matsu will... Lose? I like to say things that hey, have hey, to apologize hey, later. What are you acting all laid back for? Because you're going to lose. I'm going to show you just how different you and I really are. Get ready to fight. Let's go. Outbreak battle. Right in the sleep. He's out. <laughs> Maseos putting up an admirable fight against Moon Tree's Maverick, Matsu. He barely hurt. I don't know. Matsu isn't fighting seriously yet. Tell him to start, he's gonna this lose. This is kinda nice. <laughs> hmm? I haven't had this much fun in a while. What are you equipment. talking about now? Don't tell me you're giving up already. Hardly. The real fight's just beginning. <laughs> what do you mean? Aren't you fighting seriously? A long time ago, Matsu used to be a famous PK known as the Flame Sword Demon. When he came to join Moontree, he sealed away his main weapon. 
And he did this in order to separate himself from his past. Forget the lucky victory stuff I said. But it still doesn't change the fact that you're gonna lose. Okay. From now on, I'm fighting for real. <gasps> Sealed away, huh? Unbelievable! This is an unexpected surprise. Could this spell trouble for Team Haseo? No. Not really. Yes, that's right. His main weapon of choice is a broadsword. That's the same one he used during his PK days. Flame sword. So you've been holding back until now. Perfect. Show me what you've got. Here I go. There's a lot of build-up for a battle that took seven seconds. How did I not hit him? Hey. <laughs> it's over. I think we won. Has defeated Matsu, the Maverick from Moontree. Now then, Mr. Zelkova, what do you think of this match's result? Huh? What the? He's gone! Mr. Zelkova, where are you? Where did you go? Well, now, this is an interesting development. I didn't expect for you to be this good, Haseo. I pushed two buttons. <laughs> I guess the perfect time to move the pawns into position has finally arrived. I thought they were going to scale them with me, man. It was just... Wipe the floor. Are you satisfied now that your darling Haseo has finally won? I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. I used my forbidden weapon. I'll take the heat. I bet you would be relieved to have a troublemaker like me leave your precious guild moon tree, right? So, are you satisfied? Huh? You've been looking for a chance to throw that weapon away all this time. The reason you couldn't do that was because you had never come across anyone strong enough to truly test your skill with it. Now that you fought Haseo, you must be truly satisfied. In that case, throw that sword away and be reborn. To become the real Matsu of Moon Tree. Yeah, it's just as you say. You're right, Master Zelkova. I have no regrets. Even he's more likable than fucking this guy. <laughs> I don't know. Hey. Haseo, that was a pretty good fight, wasn't it? He's gonna give it to me, isn't he? Yeah, whatever. You just wouldn't go down. <laughs> he went down on one hit. Got something for you. <laughs> we'll just call this a little something to remember this day by. If you feel like it, go ahead and use this sword. Later. I don't want this! Damn, he's gone. It was a good job chasing after him. Um, uh, <laughs> thank you for another great match. Hey, Adelie. I guess what happened in the waiting room is still bothering her. <sighs> uh, 
<laughs> He's just such a dick. <laughs> I don't understand, but... Alright guys, I think uh, we're gonna come back, read the mail, and hopefully be able to do Pyrus' thing and whatnot, because really it just kinda limits what we can do by the time we log in it says, oh no, everybody else is offline, so... But, till next time guys, TLG, 